I guess my generation was something of a pioneer in Armenian studies and higher education in the United States. When I did my PhD at the University of California, I did that degree without ever having taken a course in Armenian history or Armenian studies. There was none in existence. And so my generation that got involved, we were fortunate that the moment was there that we could take advantage of to begin the uh, uh, field of uh, Armenian studies in, in the university system. Uh, now I'm, I'm happy that we have a number of centers and chairs of Armenian studies, uh, doctoral programs. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's been a um, uh, gratifying to see the development of uh, Armenian studies into being an accepted field. We're not still fully accepted. Uh, I go to many Middle Eastern uh, gatherings where people are uncomfortable about Armenian subjects, especially about the Armenian genocide. It's something that Middle Eastern historians have, frequently don't want to deal with. It, it makes them uncomfortable, but we are making great progress there as we are in the study of genocide. When I started my uh, work uh, on genocide because of denial, it was basically descriptive. We just described, uh, tried to persuade people that a genocide had occurred. Now we're far beyond description. Description has, uh, has, has been set and we're going into analysis and understanding uh, both the psychological, economic, uh, political, sociological factors that go into creating a genocider and uh, those that uh, may create also a victim uh, of genocide. So when I did uh, begin my studies, uh, I uh, had no more than uh, probably 10 books that existed on uh, Armenian history in English language. Today, fortunately, we're, we can say they're almost countless, at least they're in the hundreds. The important a challenge is to pass that on to a generation that is increasingly distant from uh, 1915, increasingly distant from a knowledge of the land, of the lakes, of the rivers, of the mountains, of the crops, of their paternal homeland, and to find ways to turn that um, into a new direction. And we do that by seeking and searching out creative new ways to uh, inspire uh, a generation that as uh, living in a very changed world, electronically, culturally, and every other way. Uh, and for the Armenian community, it's a challenge to keep up with the times. It's a new game, and we have to find uh, the new uh, ways to play the game.